Alright everybody, it's our Clow here, and <laughs> you know what, I just couldn't fucking resist this one, and so here we are um, with a tremendous amount of information, you know, in all honesty, that I threw together today, because uh, I've been thinking about this one, frankly, since this song um, came out, but more and more is falling into place, and, um, I just thought, you know what, again, fuck it, um, I want to talk about this for those, uh, able to comprehend and understand, uh, what it is that I am putting down. So, uh, for those of you unfamiliar, um, I highly encourage you to get familiar, um, otherwise this is likely to go right over your head, which is not, where I want it to go, um, I want you to be able to understand this, um, but there's a tremendous amount of um, you know, effort and just time that goes into uh, really contemplating and understanding all of these different concepts that really I'll only be touching on throughout today as I weave together um, all of these pieces from, as always, my subjective standpoint in order to present to you what I feel is a very compelling narrative for what they've laid before us to understand what's to come. Um, for those of you that have followed this channel for a while, you know that it is no stretch to say, right, that we have put together some really compelling things, uh, so much so to the point where, right, uh, it's been many years um, now that I've been doing this channel um, with no actual profit to myself, just the um, reward of being able to communicate uh, such high frequency information. And so with all of that, um, <sighs> thank you to all of you who have stuck around with me. Um, I've got a lot I want to get into today, and as you can glean here from the snippet that I have, I want to talk about um, what's going to seem very obscure um, but it's the new release uh, from Washington Favorites, Botch. And so this song of theirs, 122, holy shit. Not only is it a powerhouse of a song, and really I have nothing but love for these guys, um, you know, all of that good stuff, but... I do really think um, that there are some pieces here that connect to, again, the, the plot at hand. And so what I want to do here is hone right in and start showing you why I believe that. So if you see on the left side of your screen, we have 122 written out and its simple dramatic value is the same as, right, all of these uh, phrases now. So the holy linden tree. Now, this was one of the pieces that really got me saying, okay, we've got to do a video on this because at the very beginning of this year, on January 8th, I put out this uh, totally regular video about completely ordinary things. And in that, we discussed... Um, this concept of the holy linden tree and what it has to do with these different metaverses that are starting to come into play and digital currencies um, it's really a fascinating video um, so seeing that connection here was very compelling of course you see all of these other uh, keystone pieces of course do what thou wilt the master thelemic phrase i above the pyramid all of the connotations there i also want you to see though because there is so very much in this, um, this reference to the Magnificent Seven. And I want to highlight this now so I don't forget, because this is going to be coming up all throughout this video today. And one of the reasons um, that I want to hone in on it is in the actual lyrics for this song, we have uh, Ben Burrell and Bless Him just screaming uh, seven years of tears into pillows. He says that three times, and as you can see here with the lyrics, uh, no matter where you look them up, um, they always have seven actually right out like that. So the nice triple seven there, and um, you know, of course, many of you know where I'm going with this whole bit of understanding. This is going to come up towards the last bit of the video here, but you can see the Temple of Understanding, of course, right? Their connections to the United Nations. But what I want to hone you into here um, is going to be a number of things. But uh, first and foremost, of course, right, their actual address, the 777 UN Plaza. And then I'm going to go forward 
one more page here just so we can have <laughs> this symbol up on the screen here that they've created and uh, please start reading through over there but keep a hold of that number seven today because i'm going to continually come back to it and of course you know thinking about crowley um he has of course a uh, book triple seven uh it's Libra triple seven i can't remember uh in this moment but you know what why not let's since we've got all in the time in the world here to do what we want we can just pull this up so you can see, yes, that this is in fact one of his books and it is fascinating how all of that is gonna tie in throughout today's presentation. So jumping back here though, I want you to also pay attention to this reference to the Twin Towers um, because a big thing that I'm gonna be alluding to here is uh, the potential for the Washington State Fair to be uh, a target for a false flag attack and uh, you know terrifying concept but you can look ahead down below here at the actual address for the Washington State Fair as you can see 110 9th Ave you can drop that zero we do have that nice mirrored 911 there I'm going to come back to all these other pieces, including that this happens to be the 122nd year anniversary of the fair. And again, this song 122, right? More to be revealed. Um, but so again, look through all of this. And another piece I want to draw you to is this 137 coding because it comes up all throughout these pieces today. And I felt that it was important just to keep a tab on that. So with all of that, uh, let's look ahead here. And you see that I have this date that we're going to analyze and written out here is September 16. So part of why this resonated with me is it is during the Washington State Fair. For those of you not familiar, it takes place during the month of September. But... This single was released on August 24th, and the time between then and September 16th is three weeks and three days. So right here we have our 33. And hold on to that, of course, right? All the significance, all of the relevance there. And we can also look at that as 24 days. So I'm going to come back to both of those. And I have next here this phrase, decade 16. Now, the reason that I have Decade 16 here is because we're going to be talking about Mount Rainier today. Um, and Decade 16 is the official, I guess, um, uh, terminology uh, for the 16 most uh, dangerous volcanoes on planet Earth. And this, as you can see, is from the World Atlas. Decade 16 was a title designated by the International Association of Volcanology and Chemistry of the Earth's Interior. Um, and so, right, this is an official thing here. And uh, Mount Rainier, I don't know that these are listed in any particular order, but of course it is uh, placing on here. So of interest. And then when we think about, uh, September 16th, right. And of course, decade 16, both having that number in common. And of course the 16th tarot card is the tower, all of the things there, not only the reference here to twin towers and right. The things that I'm putting forward, but right, this idea of a cataclysmic event. And again, all of these other coding pieces here, this idea of right, transferring power, extinction event, planned genocide of America, it's all very compelling. Now, when we take this one step further and we're thinking about, again, why I'm honing in on this 16, one in six is seven. And as I told you to bear in mind, the magnificent seven, and right all of the things that will continue to play out with that number today but so look at the coding for decade 16 and you do see here written out two four as in maybe 24 days in between this single in that date also interestingly great work and great reset showing up here now i want you to see when we spell out 24 
it does give us this reference to, again, seven is the key. But then we also see this reference to eight, two, four. And again, that is, excuse me, those are the numbers for the day that this single was released. And so again, you can see um, all of these references here, right? To satanic rituals, arrow of death. And again, we could go into all of the things, right? With national forests, of course, we think about Mount Rainier National Park. And that, for those of you unfamiliar, uh, was, right, the first, uh, I guess, quote-unquote legitimate sighting of a UFO back in 1947. And, you know, all of the rituals likely to have taken place out there. You do see here with the 24 written out, fake alien invasion. And I did think it was really interesting that this um, article just came out um, from Cairo out here uh, back on July 19th saying that uh, Washington uh, now ranks as the top state for UFO sightings. And so very interesting. Again, you can see this stuff here about that first sighting. And uh, lot to be said, you guys. <laughs> Tremendous amount to be said. But I'm just going to keep going here. And so... In continuing to break down this song, like I was saying, that phrase, seven years into pillows, really stood out to me. And in all of the uh, different lyric, um, you know, write-ups for it, I was always seeing just the number seven here. So when I was looking up the coding for that phrase, years of tears into pillows, we come up with this simple value of 316. And you can see here, and just remembering, right, that on March 16, and as you can see here, that is going to come up in a minute, that was the first date of these vaccine trials, the Moderna trials in Seattle. And you can see here in decade 16, this reject vaccine coding. And, you know, well before all of that happened, we were here telling you about that. Those videos are still up. Highly encourage you to take a look, but look at this. 316 coding on the left side of your screen and that's um, right all-out phrase there in a pandemic of the deceived and novel coronavirus outbreak live in front of a studio audience right all of these pieces it really just says a lot now I also have here underlined nor let the fools mistake love now this is actually from Crowley's Book of Toth, and it's from his section talking about the uh, Tower Tarot card. And in that, he says, nor let the fools mistake love, for there are love and love. And then he connects it between the dove and the serpent. And looky here, over at the Temple of Understanding, and we do very clearly see this dove resting upon. And I could make a very, I think, compelling argument for this serpent symbolism below here. All right. And uh, you guys, it's like it stresses me out because it's such a relief to find it. All right. And so all of these things that we could continue to break down over here. And uh, they do have uh, the 12 symbolism on this tree. They do have the four symbolism listed throughout with the roots. And again, all of the things with the number four that we talked about, I'll pull it up in just a second for you. But it's fascinating. It is fucking fascinating. I want you to see as well here, this expires February 16th. There's going to be uh, more referencing to that 216. Again, that is 6 times 6 times 6. And I'm just thinking about this song, right? The official track time is 216. So with all of that, you do have 222 written out as well. So now on the right side of your screen, there you have all of that triple two cording and uh, excuse me coding, and there you have that September 11 attack. And again, tying that into this whole bit. And remember my videos asking why we were comparing COVID to 9/11, right? And this up here, 
Look at that span of time in between the two events. Exactly 222 months, right? All of this coding that we've gone about discussing at length in the past. And this is why when uh, some dates, right, don't come to pass, as you know, we've outlined here, it's really, it's really nothing, right? Because in comparison to how much we actually outline and identify that is meaningful, This is very important work. But so let's keep going here. And you know, let's bring up um, that number four over here real quick since I was saying I wanted to get that on the screen for you. And so you can see there um, some of its actual coding, but I do want you to be able to see um, this bit that we had put together a while back uh, about the number four and all of the ways that it shows up throughout our conception of right nature, reality, right? So there is that information for you. Now, let's, let's keep exploring the left side in the screen. So the next thing that I have here is another part of the lyrics from 122. So on the left side of your screen, you see here, love and doubt. Now I have this, right, because love is the law, love under will, but now love and doubt. And so you can see here the coding for that, the same as the linden tree. I'll be damned, right? It's the same as COVID-19 and March 16, 316, just like everything we were just talking about. Now, behold, the coagula is from the film Get Out, and then you have the numbers here, 138. And so, of course, 138, that's Pez theory, that's We Are 138 all of the things that you can see on the right side of your screen here. Again, I have uh, gone to extensive length uh, in discussing that number for you. I'm just kind of clicking through. So those of you who want to can pause at any points, uh, reference the video, right, that you want to go back to and see all of that information, right, in further context. So back then, <laughs> to the left side of our screen. Now let's keep con um, tying the Washington State Fair to botch. So WSF, the abbreviation for Washington State Fair and botch, both have a simple value of 48. As you can see on the left side of your screen here, that does share, right, that similar coding with live or evil. And so again, this idea of live in front of a studio audience, when we think about what a false flag is, when we think about this constructed chaos, right, and the way that they catalyze it and let it unfold with their narratives, right, it is all very fascinating. So look at all of that information there. And what I want you to see here again, we're revisiting this idea of the uh, World State, or excuse me, Washington State Fair being located at that 110 Ninth Avenue, again, dropping that zero, and looking at that as an inverted 911 with all of these other pieces. Now, what is also fascinating, not only is it the 122nd year anniversary of the Washington State Fair, but that actually happens to be its western fucking coordinate as well. And so, of course, <laughs> that's, you know, that's some crazy shit, right? Like, come on. Like, that. that is a really good one. <laughs> and so... <laughs> When we're going ahead here and we're looking, I want you to also see because that 122 coordinate and we're talking about, you know, volcanoes erupting, that is the coordinate for uh, Mount St. Helens. Um, and it is the coordinate for Puyallup, obviously, if it's, you know, where the fair is located. But um, that is not the Mount Rainier coordinate. It is 121 for Mount Rainier. But of course, right, Mount St. Helens. Um, does currently, I believe, hold the record for uh, most deadly volcanic eruption in uh, contiguous U.S. Um, and so, you know, it's, um, and I'm <laughs> not laughing uh, for uh, sadistic reasons for those of you new to the channel. It's the, um, the density of the correlations here, okay? So, let's 
Let's keep going. Um, and so about 20 minutes in here, give me just a moment to uh, catch my breath and uh, catch stride here. So one moment. So when we're looking at the Washington State Fair coding, um, let's take a look at the very first thing I have here, and it's number 33. Now, again, um, as I stated earlier, the time between the release of Botch's new single and this date that I'm interested in, September 16th, is three weeks and three days. And so, right, we have this reference again. I want you to see these other references here as well. I'm not going to go into immense depth because I have covered this number a lot. But I do want you to see here the reference to the year 1993 as well as the number 191. Now, Botch just so happened to form in the year 1993. Um, and so we can, of course, take an easy look at that right here in Tacoma, Washington. Yes, all of the connections further to Rainier there. But 1993 was also the year um, that Frasier debuted. Now, for those of you unfamiliar, uh, this is a very successful sitcom uh, set in Seattle, Washington. Of course, Space Needle, right? All the things we could go into. And to be honest, I have always uh, meant to do a video on Frasier um, because I do believe that there is a tremendous amount conveyed in that show. Um, in part due to it taking place in Seattle as well as being right geared towards a very intellectual set of uh, or excuse me intellectual audience but I want you to see here um, that I have pulled up here what the apartment number is that Frazier lives in and you can see here that it's 1901 so of course right the same numbers for 911 and these are the same numbers uh, for the um, Puyallup uh, State Fair, the Washington uh, State Fair, right? As you can see on the uh, left side of your screen, 1109, um, and over here, 1901, right? Same numbers, rearranged. Now, of course, if we drop the zero in Fraser's apartment number, we have the number 191, right? And that's the number I'm saying is written out right here for Washington State Fair is 191, right? And so wouldn't you know, that happens to be the same coding as the Puyallup Fair, which is what I just called it. It's because that's what most of us from the area refer to it as. And you can see here, coming up with that is code 137, 137, right? Just like I was telling you to keep an eye out throughout this video, because in 121, or excuse me, 122, the song, right? We have 137 written out. And I was telling you, right, we we're going to see that throughout this coding today. And so here you have again, code 137 written out. And you can look ahead just a little bit here and see some of the coding for 137. But notice back here for this 191 coding, Dante's Divine Comedy, right? You also have reference here to 929. And the reason I really want to flag that today is because this is one of the dates that I have been most interested in for many years now. September 29th, World Heart Day. And you can see these two threes, right? CC, 33, all of the things I've talked about over the years, including, right, their use of red, white, and black Nazi colors for their colors, on and on. And when we're thinking about it in relation to everything going on in the world right now, and even this coding that we're seeing uh, today with Fauci and Pfizer vaccine, right, all of these pieces, I want you, of course, to be thinking about the increased reporting of heart conditions, 
right? And everything that we've been talking about that's going to be culminating here, right? This is very fascinating, very interesting stuff. And I want you to see here, if we look between uh, the release of Botch's new single and World Heart Day this year, it is 888 hours. And I thought that would just be um, a compelling piece to include in this today. Um, and with the English value of triple eight, I believe that is the simple value of 148. Yes, that is correct. So you can see then on the right side of your screen, coding that corresponds with that triple eight. Um, and again, this has been a very big number over the years. Um, and so I will leave that up for you over there. Um, yes, absolutely fascinating. So when we continue looking through here and we have now just this exploration on the left side of your screen of this 137 number, right? Because it keeps coming up and these ideas connected to, right, the Eye of Horus, mind control, of course, um, this sacred 12. And, you know, when you're um, going to watch the new uh, botch video, uh, it does <laughs> start with, you know, showing you this nice 12 as it rounds around to its 122, you know, all of the things. We can connect the 12, of course, right back here. All of the places, 12's uh, immensely, immensely powerful number to them. Um, but so, and you also see here written out lucky seven, again, seven years of tears into pillows, all of that. But what I want to do here next, um, and for the sake of just time is break down Puyallup. Um, so that does translate as generous people. Um, and so if we can just pull this up over here. I know people like to be able to see that kind of shit. Um, so there you have that. Um, but so then back over here, uh, generous people does have the same coding as third world war agenda 21, right? Massive pieces. Um, and it does have uh, the same coding as 107 written out. So 107 is a simple value is the same as Mount Rainier abbreviated. And again, it's more apocalyptic coding. That's really uh, the main point here. And you also see Eleftheria. Um, this is the, I believe, uh, site or um, something. What is the, where they found the first um, UFO uh, wreckage back in 19 um, from the Roswell sites. Let's see if this is going to play ball with us. All right, so yeah, you can see, of course, I do like to use Google for its, um, you know, just kind of pulse of the beast thing, what it shows you, what it lets you see, what it doesn't let you see. And, um, you know, it looks like this is something that uh, is no longer what they want you to see. That's okay. Um, you know, I wonder if on the right side of your screen here, I might have a little something written out on it. All right. So, yeah, it looks like this was um, said to be... Uh, written on the Roswell wreckage. All right, so there you have that connection. When we connect that to Mount Rainier, then of course, right, said to be the first actual place of a UFO sighting, right? We have that come around kind of full circle. Um, so there we have all of that. I want you to see um, as well here when we're just uh, unloading all of this, 122, the new right single that we're evaluating, it is track 11 um, off of this reissue of Botch's uh, really just kind of landmark album, We Are the Romans, right? Take what you will of that, um, which was released on uh, November 4th. Um, but so that happens to, of course, be uh, the same date that the NSA was founded. 
Um, this year is going to be the 70 year anniversary of that. Um, and of course, there is our seven again. And the real reason I want to, you know, wrap all of that around with this song coming out on We Are the Romans is that album has a simple value of 165. Again, that is written out in the coding for generous people. And so when I look here then <laughs> and I see United Nations and I think back to Temple of Understanding and I see here 22 and right, I think about this being the uh, 22nd official World Heart Day this year. I think of Botch releasing, um, you know, this song in uh, 2022. Um, I think of them um, uh, playing their last show in 2002, right? Dropping those zeros all of these pieces and of course that is a master builder number but i want you to see further here uh again 13 7 coming up and so <laughs> that is the third or fourth 137 that we've had come up in all of this interrelated coding but i want you to see as well divide and conquer as well as 275 written out now the reason that resonates is 275 happens to be the simple coding for Mount Rainier eruption. Now, <laughs> that is the same as the Temple of Understanding and 666 and World Health Organization, not only in their devious fucking role in this pandemic, but they're also the ones who, right, um, are the collaborators for the World Heart Federation and World Heart Day, which takes place on September 29th. Written out beautifully there. And <laughs> I know in my last video, I was also talking um, quite a bit about World Heart Day. And so this still life with Red Bull's head, that is a Pablo Picasso painting. Um, and so if I can pop that up for you on the right side of your screen so you can see, uh, some of the coding that I had done with that as well. All of this is fascinating. Um, but again, a lot to be said. I want you to also see the number written out 124. And the simple value of 124 is the same as Puyallup, <laughs> which is again, where the world, or excuse me, the Washington State Fair takes place, right? And just ties further into everything that I've been discussing with you today. Um, and what's really fascinating to me um, is when you uh, go over here and you're looking through, and so I'm going to read this, it says, due to its high probability of eruption in the near future, Mount Rainier is considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world, and it is on the decade volcano list, as we discussed. The large amount of glacial ice means that Mount Rainier could produce massive lahars, which could threaten the entire Puyallup River Valley. Guess where that is located? Okay. So you can see here the risk uh, for around 80,000 people. All the estimates do say that uh, if Rainier were to go, it would be a much more devastating event than uh, when St. Helens went. And so, again here, this simple 124 coding, you do see the world ahead, right? That is uh, what the economists changed the phrasing of their world in um, cover to. We discussed that in uh, the previous videos. And again here, right? The future, red syringe, right? All the things I could go into about all of that. I'm really trying to steer away from it. Um, but a couple uh, just kind of ending notes here. Botch 122 as a whole right? Lord of the Gates of Death. This is a reference to the 13th tarot card. You also have 216. Again, that is the length of this song, right? Two minutes, 16 seconds. And I can also pull up for you this simple value of 216 because it did also come up in uh, one of the videos uh, from earlier this year. World Ahead 2022 Roman numerals has a simple value of 216. Also the same as, right, Law of the Strong, again, from Book 77 of Crowley. 
I want you to also see that reference to August 13th, another veiled reference to 138, something that um, I did skip over earlier. Mount Rainier was named after Peter Rainier, um, who certainly deserves um, a whole uh, video in and of himself. He was in the Seven Years' War, uh, just to keep that seven alive in all of this connection. But his name is a 138 Pez theory value. So very significant. All right. And so with 216 as well and that 232 written out, you can see that as well from that previous video for the fourth vaccination. Okay. Now back to the left side of your screen here, more references to volcanoes. This idea that we will make America great again, the return to the void, this concept of it ending with a flood. Of course, with what I was just reading about the Mount Rainier eruption and the Lahars, right, taking over that valley um, and what that could symbolize, right, on a greater scale. Of course, here this uh, reference to Apocalypse chapter 10 and Revelation 10 fulfilled, right, the prophet bringing forth what is to come, right? To instill essentially fear into those who follow. Um, and I believe I am uh, remembering that correctly. Yes, um, you know, this to me could very clearly be interpreted as somebody going on a psychedelic journey. You can see the reference here to 3 3 as well in its footnotes um, on this site. And then there also was the reference there to Revelation 11.11, 11, of course, wanting to look at that as well and talking about, right, the great fear, all of those things. So I think with all of that, what I would like to leave you all with today is you see here written out 258. And so if we go here, I want to get you to the last coding of 258 I believe that has come up yep and so that is the Linden dollar inception and again thinking about the very beginning of this video and the references to the holy Linden tree and the discussions right in those previous videos about these metaverses and their digital currencies and this 258 now coming up and this digital inception right November 28th being a date that in the uh, series from HBO, uh, Station 11, November 28th uh, was the date that this uh, plague that, you know, just fucking wiped out the world was said to take place. It was a date that I had brought up well before um, and talked about. You see here with this coding, my name in the Roman numerals for 2022. This idea again of peace by vengeance brings the end. All of the things I could continue to talk about it, such extensive length, but there you have it. That is what I wanted to share with all of you today. And, you know, all things considered, I really hope that all of you are well and doing what you can to support your communities. That's why you don't see me on here very often, is because that is where. Nearly all of my time is spent and, you know, in doing what I can to create and generate awareness around this is to take power away from the elite and to not have at least a percentage of the population succumb to the fear that they need in order to continue to perpetuate and manifest their plan. It has always been at the core of this is trying to empower those with the just fortitude to understand and to be able to transcend the limitations and restrictions imposed upon us. There's a reason that Crowley viewed that as just the, the worst possible concept. In any case... Thank you so much, y'all, for taking the time, and please, please be well.